Hi, welcome to Messy Missy Crates. This is Melissa. Um, welcome to stormy Florida. Um, you'll hear all the thunder and, well, I guess the lightning doesn't make a sound, but you know what I mean. The um, cracking of the, the thunder. So, um, I thought this was a good day to do a magazine flip harvest. I have been thumbing through my glue book again. I'm inching my way back into my color glue book. I think I've made friends with it again. Um, so I wanted to flip through a couple of these magazines that I have not flipped through yet. Um, one of them is new. This is, well, newish. It's from April of this year. Probably already looked through it, but I don't know if I flipped it. But anyway, um, these two I just took out of the plastic. They're from last summer, but I was looking for some summer inspiration and summer colors and when I started the glue book, it was in, I think, February. It was around, um, everything had that, like, Valentine's vibe. And so, there was a lot of reds, a lot of pinks. And that wasn't really doing a lot for my mojo. And then Easter, which I love all the those colors. But anyway, now that that's passed, I don't want to go back to those colors, if that makes sense. So, I thought I would start um, maybe with more of a summer color vibe. So... I have two new magazines. They come together, Real Simple and Better Home and Garden from this month, but do you think I can find them? No, I opened them when I was doing the, I think it was two uh, challenges ago and the summer challenge for the Inspired to Create video. I opened those and I thumbed through them and now I can't find them. So, but I'll bring you those whenever I find them, but these are ones that I have not seen before. This is from June of last year. Real simple, the color edition. They're always fun. I mean, you can tell by the cover that's going to be fun. And then Cosmopolitan, it's iffy. I wasn't that impressed with this issue, I don't think. Unless I've already torn out stuff, and that's possible. But I know when I thip, thipped, when I flipped and did harvest last time, or the last couple harvests I've done, I've been looking more for background colors or background images. This time I'm focusing more on focal images. So to me, that's the fun part. Um, and anyway, I thought I'd bring you along. It's a nasty, dreary, rainy day. And I thought this would be some fun. Lift me up, you know, perk me up. It, it's mid morning and it is dark. It's crazy dark outside. So I'm going to start. I needed some color in my morning, I think. And so, I'm just going to start with these new ones. Um, we'll flip that one last if we have time. I have been, let's see, just in case you've forgotten what it looks like, here's my glue book. I love the color. I'm glad that they don't expire. I know a couple of you have commented that this is going to take a long time, and you are correct. It is going to take a long time. But I think that's the point. It's something that you can just work on when you want to. It's It can be seasonal. Um, like I said, it was probably in the spring. It was in the spring when I made it. So I did make some springy pages back here that I never did. And I don't really want to do them now. So I'll wait and I'll probably still be working on that next spring. So this was not a... It was a marathon, not a sprint project. So, I this one intrigues me, so I'm going to do this one first. And yes, if I find something, I'm going to stop and tear it out, and I might just stop and cut it out. Um, I'm, I've gone through, I started showing you this. I pulled out some of the images that I need to fussy cut. I'm like, I'm making myself deal with a couple of images at a time or a couple of pages that I had stacking up in my my one basket. And so these are some things I need to cut out. I've divided my fussy cuts into cools and warms. And then the black and white and gray, I threw in with the cools. But um, this is fun. I started cutting him out and gluing him on a page. And I thought, no, I'm gonna wait and do this with you because you suffered through the background videos I thought you at least deserve to see me put on focal points. So, um, and I think this is adorable. It's a dog food ad, but, you know, have you ever had a big dog that thought they were a lap dog? Um, anyway, 
So I'll probably, if I get to that, I'm going to be playing in those. But I always like to start with a magazine flip. I was really tempted to make myself deal with the images I have already. Oops, I have an avalanche. Before flipping anything else. But I just, this is always a good starting point for me when I need inspiration. Um, obviously, there's people that get paid a lot of money to put these images together in these magazines to make them appealing to you. So, and, and in reality, I mean, this is kind of like a collage, right? So, um, why not let the experts inspire us? Let me move those out of the way. Now, I, lo I love the colors in this. Um, let's see, this would probably be... Well, I don't really have a family, like with kids, that we take on vacation, but that's a really cute image of a summer vacation. Um, this lady, I think I've used some of that green and little s'mores. Um, that's a pretty butterfly I could cut out. Um, mainly looking for, I like those. I like these, maybe for the orange or um, not real fond of the... Let's go ahead and take this. And then I can always cut out the shoe. Um, I don't do a whole lot of walking these days. Um, look at these little tidbits. Yeah, I don't need s'mores. Let's use the tidbits on the, oops, on the back. Um, the other thing I'm looking for is I have a collage basket and I have a little bits basket. Now, these are just off cuts of images that I've cut out. Isn't that what an offcut is? Um, just different colors. It's a project I'm gonna be working on. I've also been cutting out some like words and letters and things like that. Here's my, you know, you know, um, just some extra pieces of scrapbook paper. I had a random little oval frame, some tabs. Uh, this is going to be a new project that I'm gonna work on just kind of like the glue book, just little bits at a time that I found from Lydia at February and June. And it's a, it's a video that she did and it just really sparked, um, sparked my interest or piqued my interest, whatever the word would be. And I'll share that with you upcoming, but I'm also looking for images like that. Um, not really images, just color uh little tidbits so i really like this i'm not sure how i would use it but i like it enough to it's coming with me and of course as always it's never is it ever really a final flip through you know do you ever really i like that um do you ever really finish going through a magazine i, I haven't yet i'm sure that some of you have I like her. And you can always depend on the feminine products for some purple, too. But I like her. She's just sassy. But also, down here, I think I can get, yeah. Like, I would cut out this. Um, I was thinking it was mascara, but it's not. It's like a lip uh, lipstick. And this little smudge right here is a great little chunk of brown. So, um... I'm going to put that off to the side. She looks like a lady I saw last night and talked to. Hmm. Huh. Maybe she was famous and I didn't know it. Okay, these always come out. Um, I always hesitate to use them. Because A, I love them so much. That means I try to hoard them. And B, when they have this little print right here, it throws me off. Now, I realize that I can cut this out and use this. And put like some little sticker or overlap them or something. So I'm going to, I, I have tons of these either saved in magazines or torn out. I'm going to make myself use them. Uh, obviously you can, for little pieces, you can cut around them and little patterns. But I'm trying to find, oh, it also would be a good idea to go behind like a focal point. Um... Yeah, I'm looking for a lot of different things as I'm flipping through. Uh, the collage is really, really, really inspiring me right now. All types of collage, which kind of is what glue booking is. Um, I always love these pictures, but I don't know how to use them. 
I think I just like the furniture. I mean, I, you know, do you ever wish your house could look like some of these pictures? No, that doesn't mean that they're good glue book images. This right here is fun. It looks like, if you turn it this way, it, it looks like, like if you had an image with your the hand up, it looks like it could be holding balloons, a bouquet of balloons. That's what I saw when I saw that. So it's coming out. And then of course I can always use the orange back here. I like that shade of orange. But yeah, I think I have to cut those out. Oh, let's see. I'm always loving all the little animal pictures, but I don't really need any more animal pictures. This has fun little tidbits, but I think I'm wanting bigger tidbits for this this pro this part of this phase of the project. Uh, I need my little. Um, I have one of those little things that you moisten your fingers with. Okay, we have. I saw fall, and now I see a Santa hat. I know that this said August. Okay, July, August. But I like those the feet, the pants, red pants, and the feet. I mean, and the goat and the Santa hat is just precious. I might have to, um, oh, here's some red, white, and blue. Cool. We've got the, we got July coming up. I always think of red, white, and blue for July. Cute little kitty. Well, here's some red, white, and blue too. I guess I shouldn't be surprised if it's July, August magazine. It probably came out in June or the beginning of July. Um, don't know if I want that or not, though. I would use maybe, sure, let me make sure the kitty stays intact, because he might, if he's not, yeah, he might come out, and he'd be cute on, like, on the corner of a page. Maybe I could make him hold those balloons. I have tons of these images, these ads. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, look at the washi tape. Oh, they did the vase with washi tape, I guess. Or it's art tape, maybe, or something like that. I don't have a red, white, and blue page. I don't have a fall page. I don't have whatever, and I might need to, but um, I have a couple of other ideas. I've been looking for the book that I want to use. Let's see. I need this just for some drawing inspiration. Yep. And, oh, I like those um, banners or pennants, whatever you call them. Oh, more red, white, and blue. And, oh, I wish I had that. I don't really want to lick my fingers. That's always pretty. I like those flowers, but that would be really hard to cut out. I need something easy. I'm not, um, my brain doesn't want to work too terribly hard. I know, it's lazy, right? I just, I know that I need something fairly easy to jumpstart me in this phase, because I, I have some of my backgrounds done, but not many. I mean, if you've been watching, you know that. I love this. I love these colors. Huh. And I love that. That would be neat. I think that would be easy enough to cut around. That might be interesting. I don't know. Might have to come back to that. Oh, and of course, it's got some really cute images on the back there, so those I would use them. Okay. Not sure which side I'm going to use, but I like the, I think the images on the back win. I love, I just love the neutral tones in this, but I love this. Um, this is like a mid-century uh, illustrations. And I really love those. Um, I really like, like this background would be great for collage or little bits of background. Okay, but I'm going to put it on that side. Cute little beds. 
That's another thing that I'm drawn to and I just don't always know how to use them. Okay, this is coming out. Oh no, darn it. Okay, because I wanted that image and I like this one. Um, this was gonna go on my wood grain. It might still, I just have to trim it. But I love the, I love paint brushes. I, I love painting. I, I used to paint, not for a living, but um, we had, a few, several years ago, we had like 23 rentals and I painted and painted and painted and painted. Um, I'm glad to not have those anymore. That was a lot of work and I would have been hard pressed to do that these days. Um, okay, this one doesn't wanna come out. Why don't you wanna come with me? I'm gonna make something pretty out of you maybe. I'm always drawn to these M&M &M ads, and I actually like this one. It's not one of the characters. It's just like a little cookie jar. That would be cute. And of course, I can use the blue background. I'm also looking for good letters to cut out. That's not like my focus. That's usually an afterthought. I like that eggs. I mean, you know. Yeah, sure. Come on. I think the last flip I did, I did it where I had to, um, not had to, but I was taking stuff out and then using it right away. And, and that worked a little bit. Um, some of you like that. I thought I would do this just, you know, flip and gather if I have some time at the end. I mean, this is all beautiful. I mean, it's garden, just gorgeous gardens. Um, but I was telling you too, and you've heard me, I like these letters. I'm gonna go ahead and tear this out. Now I would use this probably, I mean, obviously you could use this in green in your background for your collage or your glue book, but I would rather use this as a garden day in my journal. And then I want those letters or those words, I guess I should say. Um, let's see, if you need me to slow down, just holler. Hopefully I'll hear you. These are fun little squares, just little pattern squares. Oh, those are fun little pattern squares love those letters all right do you want to come with me and this would be fun for a pink page um, I'm not into the food aspect of it but we're oh I, I tore the wrong page out that's okay I'll still use that I like those letters I thought I was tearing this page out I guess I don't know I don't know what I thought, but I love the colors in these. Oh my goodness. Those look like, I guess those are like ice cream cake pops maybe. But I just love all the, the variety of colors in, in this. Uh, the shades, the different shades of pink. Now this one I just love for all the fun colors. Come on, popsicles or cake pops or whatever. I think that was what the front image was. Yeah, that was the cover. Great little tidbits of turquoise and pink. Um, may need some more of that, I don't know. I always say I'll come back to it, but then I never remember where it is. I don't really want the pie exactly, although that's a neat, I love to see the slice. Uh. Sure, come on out. If not, I can just use it as something. How about a pan of bacon? These are good letters, though. Well, there we go. I knew there's another page in there. 
I have a lot of this one. Well, I'm struggling. Okay, I guess I do have to wet my fingers. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's precious. National Pet Fire Safety Day is June 15th. Now, this was last year. I don't know if that changes, but the little Dalmatian is coming with us. Uh-oh. Just tore my... He's precious. And it's a good, clean photo, too. There's no writing on him. He's cute for the little black and white page. Oh, I love this. I love these little rings. I know, puppy, it's not your day. Yeah, you have another day. But yeah, I love this. I, I might actually just put this on my aqua page just to have a little pop of color. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Um, Trying to go through this kind of quick so that I have some time at the end to do something else. Those are pretty, it's pretty yellow. Um, so if I have some of that left over, but I want that other ring. Oh, this is gorgeous. Eat to hydrate. Fruits and vegetables are a delicious way to get the H2O you need this summer. I knew that some of the fruit was, I didn't think about vegetables, but look at this rainbow of vegetables. And it is tomato season. It is, you hear me talk about my garden all the time. I actually just need to use that on my, in my journal though. Um, this didn't have this big blob in the middle of it. That would be a great background. I love these pendant lights. I always like to cut those out. I wish that was a full one. So that might be coming with me. Oh, my little kitty used to lay over my shoulder like that. He was a black cat. His name was Sam. Um... And he used to lay with both his paws out, sticking out the back, over my back. And we used to call him Super Sam. And those little kitties are cute, too. Hey, if you need a barcode for a, um, I guess that's a QR code, but one of those prompts that has a barcode, wouldn't that be cute? Now, do you think if I tore it out, I'd be, remember, well, if I don't tear it out, I certainly won't remember where it is. Okay, I love the colors in this. And she's just, you know, just as cute as she can be. She's fabulous. But I like those letters, too. So, I feel like I have a better... Um, sometimes I like these little quotes that they put in here in, in cursive writing. But this one says, don't let your clothes boss you around. With the right information, you can wash everything yourself. No dry cleaning needed. Okay. Um, sometimes I like these images too, but I don't really need the laundry detergent. Okay. So that was that one. And here's this one. We're doing okay on time. We might not get to the, the actual glue book today, but I thought this would be a fun start. Okay. This, well, that's... That looks like broccolini. I was thinking it was broccoli, and then I thought it was asparagus, but I think it's called broccolini. Um, honestly, broccolini resembles a broccoli when it starts to go to seed. And we don't usually eat it when it goes to seed like that. So I don't know why you would want a broccolini, but anyway, that's your business. Um, I know that you can... The, it was like the new thing this year. You could, a lot of the seed companies were putting out um, broccolini seeds. Uh, this one, I don't, I've got several of this ad, but this one actually has pretty large chunks of the dark blue. And if I remember correctly, I think I need a few more of those. Um, I always like these to put in my journal. I don't know exactly when I'm going to, um, you know, be at the beach the next time. I don't think that I can. I'm not sure. I might be able to. I was going to say, I don't think I can walk through the sand. It's very soft sand. Uh, this is a neat, neat background, like for a collage. 
It's a very small piece, or pieces, but I think I can do it. Um, I've been just cutting like little strips of things that I don't know what to do with, and I'm putting in my little collage bit box, and then I will, um, I'll tell you about that later. Um, you can go, like I said, I got, I'm getting the idea, the inspiration from Lydia at February and June. Oh, I, I needed those. I mean, I needed those in my life, right? You know, that was just too cool to pass up. A boat on the lake. I could do that for a fishing day. I love this bag. I like the hat. Okay, this whole magazine might just end up getting cut out. But this is the... I love the Real Simple. I think I find more usable stuff out of Real Simple than I do anything else. Uh, do I, don't I, do I, don't I? Will I come back to it? I don't know. These are also the ones that I'm drawn to. But then I, I'm like, how do I want to use it? Do I want to use it as a whole piece? Do I want to use it as pieces like I would use the books in my journal I'd cut these up and use those in my glue book or collage but then I can't make up my mind so I end up just passing them over every time but that might be too much really cool green to pass up I'm not sure where my green stands oh, there she is again um I do use this oh this coupon is not expired yet. Wow. Okay, I might have to pay attention to her a little bit more. $3 off sustain. That's the eye drops that my eye doctor recommends. House plants. That's cool. And that's neat. If you ever do collage people. He's cute. Um, those are just little bits, but they might have to come with me. His, um, pajama, that little section of pajamas would have been a good, like, black and white background, but it's almost too blue. It's a neat picture. I've got several like that pulled that I'm struggling using, so I don't want to pull any more yet. Um, need some better mascara in my life. I found out my mascara was not waterproof yesterday. Always need some watermelon. Love those color combinations. This is always a cute image. I think I have a couple of them, though. Uh, I don't know. I always think I'm going to use that, like, in my teal background. or my, Maybe it would make a good background picture. But then I'm like, well, that's kind of a neat, you know, neat focal point too. But then I don't want to cover it up. But I need to get over that. Don't I? I just need to use it and cover it up if I, you know, don't want it. Or partially cover it up. See, there's the fall leaves. Oh, that's so cool. That almost looks like a lamp shade. That is so cool. Okay, I have to have that. That one's cute too, but... Yep, you're coming with me. We are definitely going to use those. We might use those first. Happy feet, happy feet. Yeah, that's the big image of the little image I pulled laying out. I don't don't know if I'm going to be getting to the beach. In I guess I could use it when I'm in the pool, but it doesn't sound like that's going to be happening anytime soon. I can quit pulling refrigerator pictures now. We still have that second refrigerator in my in my kitchen. Um, we have to wait until somebody comes and helps him get, get it out. And we are having some flash flooding and really bad thunderstorms. Um, we had some tornado warnings and whatever come through last night. And I get a second chance at this picture. Um, we actually had a couple people that died in our area from trees falling on their houses and lightning strike. Yeah, you hear that? That is what summer sounds like in Florida. Just in case you were wondering, it is not all sunshine and beaches. 
that was a cute picture. It just looked a little more tedious than, oh, this would be funny if you were um, like on a diet or, you know, watching what you're eating or something like that. Wouldn't that be a cute picture to put in your journal? He's like, really? Is that all that's in my bowl? Oh, that's pretty. It's pretty full. Well, this almost, this whole magazine ends up coming out, huh? One day, I've, I see people using stuff like this, and I'm not going to tear it out right now, but I, I just need to reframe my brain to figure out how I, I would use it. Oh, never mind. I don't have a... I don't have to worry about using that because look, it's on the back side. Yes, I need some orange popsicles. And I love that for the orange background. Excuse me. It's not much of it, but that's super cool. And the nice thing is if you put this on an orange page, you're going to have a little bit of background, like a contrasting color. Which is exactly why they did it. Oh, there's the sneezing lady again. Um, this must be the brand of... Okay, I'm struggling here. Let me move that little bowl. That must be the brand of fruit bars. Or maybe not. This is super cool. I love this. I just wish they wouldn't put writing. Don't they know we want to use these pictures? Somebody needs to tell these editors of these magazines that they need to quit doing that. I like those letters. Hmm. Oh, I want to take this so bad, but I'll leave something in here for next time. I've got a good bit of stuff. Oh, let's see. Where are we at? I was looking to see what beach that was. That looks like our beach. It's not, though. It's Rosemary Beach? I don't know where that is. That's a neat... I love that type of illustration, too. Beach access. One day, I will get to go to the beach again. I don't know if you're having a dinner. Oh, that looks like a cookout, actually, because the neighbor over the fence, but... Without, do you remember Wilson off of, um, what was that show, Tool Time? Howdy, neighbor, you know, looking over the fence. But I was going to say, without that, this would have looked like you were dining out, you know, like date night. Okay, I really like this. Okay, well, I have lots to choose from. But I like that one. That caught my eye first. Um, I think because it's the black and white, and I could cut her out, but if I need the background color, I have it too. Or, you know, like on a purple page. That's sweet. Bucket list. Here we go. Beaches. Bucket list. I know who needs that picture. Raise your hand if you want to be on a beach. I don't want to be on a beach today. Last weekend, we got caught in a really bad thunderstorm when we were on the water on the river in a boat. And uh, that was not fun. This one, this storm is lasting a whole lot longer. It's been going on all, well, since about 5 o'clock yesterday evening. And it's supposed to go like this all weekend, so it's tis the season for tropical weather. And, I, and then I think we have something that they're watching in the tropics coming up. This has lots of goodies in here. Uh, again, just not sure how I would use it. I love this enamel wear. Okay, well, the little ball of green means I could use in my... No, I can't because we're up here. I'm taking that spoon to go on a red page. I love that the old um, vintage, I think it's called enamel wear, speckle wear, splatter wear, something like that. Oh, lightning. Okay, no immediate boom, so it must not have been closed. I think we had a big bolt strike right near the house a little bit ago. Yeah, that was a little further off. Does anybody else do that? 
you count the the light um you know how many seconds from the from the lightning bolt to the thunder you can tell how far away the lightning is when they do it at the same time you know you just got struck beautiful basil i haven't used any of my basil in my garden this year i don't know what in the world those are really pretty for little oh you know what they're little salt and pepper shakers, I'm assuming, and they'd be pretty for little doodads in your blue book, but those would be really cute if you had a large face. Uh, let's see if I can tear this out without. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, they would make cute earrings for like a collage. Now, if I'll find them when I need them, that would be amazing. Uh, not much in this. Oh, that's pretty in pink. That's pretty. I don't know if I need pink. Okay, well, I don't need that piece, apparently. Darn it. Okay. Well, doggone. Um, those would have been three cute little, you know, things you could cut out and use the background, but um, I got heavy handed with that one. Oh, this is that craft dream box. I don't know how expensive it is. I think I've looked it up one time. But, oh my goodness, isn't, wouldn't that be amazing to have something like that? Of course, I don't think all my craft stuff would fit in there. And if it wouldn't all fit, then what's the point in having it? This is neat. Again, just, it's not like jumping off the page at me going, okay, this is how I'd use it. So, I'm going to wait until next time. And then maybe it will go, hey, take me with you. Um, I want to be used by you. Okay, I love this. I always hesitate to cut out the covers initially because I don't want the book to be hard to flip through, but that one is amazing enough colors that it might have to, um, yeah, I might have to make an exception. Of course, these are amazing colors too. Do you ever find, like, where do you stop with the cutting? Um... I mean, if you're just looking at backgrounds, you don't have to have, a, like, a complete picture, but not sure where I would stop, if that makes sense. Very pretty, though. All right. Find it, try it, paint it, love it. Yep. I like this little picture right here. I like those colors together. Okay, so here's another one of those, and I pulled it, I think, out of the last one. So I'm going to pull this one. I'm, I really love this color, and I love the brick look. And in a collage, this would be both a beautiful color and the texture. Um, I mean, and what else? I don't need, I mean, yeah, a full-size, you know, if you get mail or happy mail or whatever, that would be cute. But it's got writing all over it, and... I don't know. I guess you could use it in your journal if you wanted to. Color me happy. I like that. For words. Okay. Sure, come on. That's really pretty. I don't think I have a color page that really are those colors. They're not that muted. My pages are not. Oh, that's such a sweet picture. The little girl on the beach. This would be a neat, it almost looks retro, the picture. Um, it stands out as a red image, but I don't, it doesn't really like speak to me. Like, ooh, that's really cool, you know. Now, I like that. And that's a neat little circle. I mean, you could even take a little circle punch and punch it out if you wanted to. Okay, we're gonna take the page. It has enough maybes on it. These little girls are cute. Mm, they 
should be easy enough to cut out. Well, I don't know about easy, but I don't know. Okay, if I have to hesitate that long, it's not coming. Not on this trip. Okay, here we go again with the colors. And I can only use so many of those. But they just catch my eye so much. It's got some pretty colors. That has pretty colors. <sighs> These are neat. I like the individual items. I don't know about for the glue book, but... Well, maybe the chair. Let's see. I'll take it and see if I can... I, I know what I would use this piece for. But... Those would be pretty for a part of a background. Okay, sure enough. I mean, I was looking for um, focal points, but here's another Christmas ornament. List of memories help me move on. Oh, wow. That would be neat. Talking about selling a house, but... You know, maybe if you have a loved one that passed on or something. Um, she's talking about after selling her dream home. Uh, she put pen to paper and found perspective. <sighs> uh, yeah, amazing colors. Okay, look at this. You put Christmas ornaments in with tomatoes. I have to have this page, even if I just use it for my journal. because I've got tomatoes. Well, this rain's probably gonna split what's out there. I wish that was not cut off. I guess it's not really. I like the, um, she is super cute. I and you could completely cut her out. No words, no anything. Okay. And then I like the feel good. Her foot covers up the L in fuel, but that's okay. I don't need fuel. I just want the feel good. And then I like this color scheme. And I like her. She would be great on in the glue book. Um, in like an orange or even a pinkish. I think I have a peachy pink. And no, I have not gotten over my matchy-matchy thing. So it's just going to be the way it is. I'm, I feel like I've grown up a little bit since the last time I worked in my glue book. I had to kind of, um, you know, get over my whatever was ailing me. Look at the muscle, the pistachio muscles. That's intriguing. I think I actually need the black too for backgrounds, but if not, then I can use something else. I use this image a lot for trash day, only when it's a big trash day. Um, I don't think I need them, though. This has some neat texture and background color to it. Yeah. See how when you take it out of the picture, you can kind of see. If you ever need to see, I don't have a frame, but I forgot what they call it, where if you have like a little um, die cut or a frame or something like that, if you ever want to see what something's going to look like without the surrounding image, you know, just kind of frame it up. How are we doing on time? Okay, we're almost done with this magazine. I keep getting stuck on my little pile over here. Oh, and look at this, since it just made, it wanted to make an appearance in the video. I found this notepad that I've had for a while. It's like a little memo notepad, and it's lemons. It matches my journal this month. It, did you see how it jumped into the, the picture here? Again, these little collages, I'm not at the place in my brain where I can dissect that and use them for different things. So, I'm going to save that for another day. Oh, but I might need this. I like that shade of reddish pink. So, bye-bye bedroom. But... It's a neat little lamp. It's so little, though. 
I need to figure out something to do with this ad because you see all these Zyrtec ads. You see them a lot. Um, I don't want to use this for us fishing because I don't want him to knock me out of the boat. Oh, here we go. I need this for my journal today. No. Lightning. Um, and then, of course, this would be good for backgrounds and whatnot. But, yeah, I need that. I'm going to set that aside in my journal for today or last night, one or the other. All right. These are always so cute. If you use these for anything, tell me, how, if you don't mind telling me how you use them. I'm thinking, like, if I had a little head, I'd put in little legs. But then it's like, what do you do with the, the little shoes right here? I mean, I guess, like, you could cut it off, make it a shorter dress. Um, I might... Thought that was pajamas or a bathrobe, actually, but... Oh, that's cute. Um, I love the red and red and denim. I just, that that's always been something that my eyes drawn to. Uh, hmm. I don't know. If you, if you use these in, in anything, your glue book or whatever, um, or collage with them, if you don't mind telling me in the comments how you use them, I would much appreciate it. Strawberries, rhubarb. She's pretty. Oh, yeah. Um, the side images are always a little trickier for me to use. Uh, she's not a glue book image, but she's coming with me. Okay, this lady's coming with me too. Cause she holds a coupon too, and she might be fun to use in a in a collage. It's a straight on. She's got a straight on face. It would be easy to cut out. You have a little bit of a neck. Um, oh, how sweet. My, um, best friend in high school that died my senior year, um, she was beef fry and I was straight in. I don't know if that's still a current tradition with the kids, but... It certainly was. Okay, this has lots of fun images that we might need. Well, you know what? Do I really? Okay, I'm going to leave it because I don't know exactly how. It's more camping related. Cute little doggy. Uh, I'm not sure how I would use it. Ooh, look at this colorful backgammon set. Okay, I need this. love all the backgrounds and background color the I'm trying to see what okay of course you're not going to get this whole thing you could get part of it that's got such a cool background looking oh i love this little retro radio tissue box how cute is that pink shoes i don't know if i want shoes and stuff in my that would make little spot fillers Okay, we've got some yellow back here. All right, these might be good little tidbits for the color glue book. Um, yeah, I mean, like, if you need to cover up a little yellow spot or something like that. Same with the pink. Same with the green. Well, it was nice of them to give us a... Oh, no, my goodness gracious. I so say it was nice of them to give us a whole rainbow of these things. We have blue on the background. I'm um, sorry this isn't a current journal because I know if you do any kind of color or rainbow glue book, you're going to want this next page. And I would have really loved this um, purple KitchenAid, but look at this. Color your world. I love that. Um, I think I've talked about this in another video. My mom, a long time ago, we were both social workers. And we worked for with the aging population. And um, she won the Ray L. Irish Award for the Social Worker of the Year. It was called um, Color My World. Or Color Your World, Color My World. Okay. Can I have about eight of those, please? 
Wow. Can we just admire this for a minute? Because it's just scrumptious. It's not scrumptious. It's really pretty. And then they give you this nice little tidbit over here. Oh. Okay, please don't tear. Very gentle. So here's what I do. Because I'm going to probably hoard this one for a while. Because I'll, oh, I'm saving it for like that perfect place, right? Which never happens. But they give you this little section of it, which I can, I can use right away. This, uh-oh, because that means, oh, look at these little, I love that. Color theory, warm versus cool. It's talking about wardrobe, okay. Oh, no, look what they did to us. That's just mean. I mean, that's just downright mean, isn't it? Why would they do that? That's not nice. Make you have to decide between this really pretty green shoe and this beautiful red. I think the green wins, though. And then they put writing on the blue. Why would they do that to us? All right, come on, blue. Well, those are just easy, ready-made pages, aren't they? I should have started with this magazine in my, when I started with the glue book. Um, she's, let's see. Do I want her? I don't know if I want... Yeah. I'll have to decide which one I want later. I like her. And they have good, I mean, you know, it's they're, they're a clean image as far as cutting out. We're getting down to the end here. Um, she got pretty hair. Wow. Um, so does she. I don't know. That's that side view again. And it's hard to match up. Oh, wow. I might have to leave a little bit of this because I'm like color overwhelmed at the moment. Yep. I'll leave that for a nice little surprise when I flip through this the next time. But after I just found those other pages, it's like, mm, okay, they don't have food on them. These have food on them. This, I know which page it will match in my glue book. So, I'm going to pull it just in case. I mean, because I have, that would go perfectly. And so will this glass. I can cut this glass out. I know exactly, I'm going to put it on top. I know exactly what page I'm going to use that in. These are pretty. That's a really pretty, um, let's see. Where would you stop? And cut here and cut all the way up there. That's really neat. But, okay, so I want, darn. They keep cutting off parts of these images. Uh-oh. That page is partially torn. Oh, no. And look what I just did to it. That was really pretty blue subway tile, too. Okay, so look. This is not my idea, but look, wouldn't that make a fat NC? She only needs one earring and a partial earring. Wouldn't that make a really pretty earring on one of those face collages? Well, I like the little blue ones I pulled earlier, the little salt and pepper shakers. I like those better, but... Oh, that's a cute little picture of a poor little dog. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to get, like, mm, Okay. Um, I need these strawberries for my journal. That's a neat little tidbit of background right there. Well, <laughs> okay, this is super cute. He might actually, that might be a good, um, that might would work on a green page. Oh, she's precious too. But 
I, I might fussy cut because that, that should be easy enough to fussy cut. Even if I leave off the pizza and I found another image to put there. But isn't that just a precious little picture? What? Oh, that's pretty. What else do we have? Looks like my dinner every night. E6000 is amazing glue. It stinks and it takes a while to dry, but it's there. Tidy board. That's a neat little um, image. For a pink or orange page. I mean, it's only one little... Well, I could use that in my journal for dinner. But this little thing right here would go... I would put it on like an orange page because it's got like a real light pink background. And then this. And then I think I'm done. Yep. That would go very easily on my dark blue page. Awesome. And then I need to cut this out. I, I need to. It, it's, it's not a... And I, I need to figure out what parts of this I want to cut out. Yep. I wish that this didn't have the writing over that because I would cut her out and then make her sit on something else. If I find something else that would be worthy of her sitting on. Um, trying to think if I could cover up how easily I could cover up maybe put some, I don't know. It, it's not, that's more than my brain can do right now. So I think I'm going to cut this here. It's already almost an hour. And we got all these fun images and I'm saving that. That came from something else I cut out. I'm saving that for the letters. And I appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoyed this. It's just relaxing to me. It's a great rainy day project. And so I thought I would do this and bring this to you today and stay tuned because I will be, I, I know it's been a while, but I will be doing a glue book video very, very soon. Maybe even right after this because apparently it's just going to be a crafting day today, which is amazing. So y'all have a great rest of your day and thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing and liking and all your comments and all the wonderful things and you have an amazing rest of your day. Bye-bye.